After a recent preview event, we now have another huge slice of gameplay to look at and a firm release date for The Last of Us Part 2. It's coming out on the 21st of February 2020 and, well, we've got some super high quality 4K output footage to show off uh, from that, delivered directly from Sony. Now from what I understand, this is PS4 Pro and it stands to reason given what we're seeing. More on that in a second, but to join me to discuss what we're seeing here, I've invited none other than John Linneman. Hey Tom, we are indeed seeing some interesting things. First, starting with the file size. Oh my god, yeah. M these MXF files that we have here, it's like 800 plus megabits per second. <laughs> the bitrate is insane on these files. It looks, it really genuinely looks like a direct feed. Like you're looking at the real game running on your monitor. So, it's a, it's a great look. Yeah, it's completely overkill. Uh, this is for sure one for the Patreon users. If you subscribe to Digital Foundry on there, you can get the source file to all this, but besides that, I'm sure it'd look great either way. We're getting some super high source quality material here. So what we're looking at, as I just said, it appears to be running on a PS4 Pro, and I can infer that just by the fact that, well, uh, pixel testing these video clips, the footage appears to be running at 2560 by 1440. Ah, uh, so basically the same as Uncharted 4. Yeah. Running on the Pro. Yeah, so also this is a 30 FPS feed, and I imagine it will be running at that for the final game. Whether or not we'll get like the suite of options we had in the original The Last of Us. Uh, I would say no. That was a conversion of a PS3 game. <laughs> ずっと閉じていた扉が開いたね。お兄さんのおかげでしょ。悪くない取引なんじゃないか。三島君、学校の裏サイトも書き込み見せてくれたの。もしかして吉沢さんのことなのかな。この雰囲気、パレスなのか。なんだとこは。楽園。可能性はあるわね。どういうことだよ。メメントスは大衆の認知が融合した場所だ。構造だけじゃなく、環境的な変化も当然起こる。ちょ、あれ、メメントス人間。ご指摘ありがとう。えっと、タヌキじゃない、猫さん？迷うんじゃねえよ。
노브, 컴! getting back into the rhythm of that having played um, I guess mostly Sekiro in terms of games which are a bit like this yes. I found quite difficult yeah I was going to say how did you you know was it was it very quick for your thumbs to remember what was going on I played I played this demo on and off most of yesterday so no it, it took me quite a long time and yeah. I wanted to get like a clean run through the whole thing um, there is also you can see underneath the green stamp bar up there um, that is now like your yokai power because this character being different from uh, Will in the last game yes um, is uh, sort of got a demon inside him or okay. has, has <laughs> a, a more of a kind of a yokai access to that realm and look at the power I'm about to do uh, that big old hammer oh wah, yeah wah. okay that's and that uses my yokai power and um, the way that this works you always had a spirit um, a guardian spirit yeah and you could collect those and change them and they would change the spirit power that you had um, now when you defeat enemies sometimes uh, uh, more powerful enemies give you more powerful uh, results you get a thing called a soul core and they are the things I'm kind of skipped through it there but those are the things which give you or, or determine your yokai um, powers so right. you can see next to so I've got my circular spirit Guardian spirit. Yes. And then to the left of that, and that's a yokai move right there. I've stopped him from doing his move. It's kind of like an interrupting one. Um, but over there to the left is my soul core. That's the one I've currently got equipped. Um, you can have two of these equipped, um, and so kind of two special moves at any time. You press R2, uh, and actually that's R2 and circle to interrupt that move. So that's kind of like a parry for when a, a, a yokai enemy starts to build up into a big attack. Right. You do uh, R2 and circle. Um, more normally, if you want to be aggressive, you do this R2 and triangle or R2 and uh, square in line with your normal combat moves. Um, so look, this is me. I actually messed this guy up in the end.街中にある全てのものが一瞬も止まることのないリアルタイムRPGバトル。ぶち ヨジンポ。ダンサー。ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら、ほら。色々な職業を経験して最強キャラクターを作り上げろ。道連れだ。本作のメインステージとなる横浜伊勢崎偉人町が登場。きらびやかな繁華
Fix your eyes forward, lest you overlook the traces. Keep your ear to the ground, lest you lose the trail. We are the shield! That shall not break! We are the sword! That shall not bend! Oh God of steel and fury! Give us flesh to hunt! One blood red星神様の祭壇のようにあれが戦勝獣ですなるほどな嵐を体現したようなやつだこのままじゃここも危ねえぞどうしてこんなに暴れてるのかな島の気候をめちゃくちゃにしてまで。わけがあるはずですきっと何かとにかく近づいてみましょうルリアちゃんいざという時はお願いねはいわかりましたやめてくださいおあぶね足場が不安定になっているわ向こうに渡れそうな道を探しましょう
you know rather than having to imagine it yeah having to imagine it <laughs> little <laughs> tiny uh little tiny blocky sprites back in the day and it, it, i mean Final is it very much how you did imagine it you know it is this, is I mean, this it's hard to tell um but yes uh when you get the original final fantasy 7 obviously you you'd have images in your mind and you would you would create the drama the yeah. cinema of it in your mind and seeing it now in final fantasy 7 remake it, it looks very much like what you had in your head 20 years ago 22 years ago now which what is, is quite amazing what's that uh, thin orange bar that's filling up underneath the scorpion sentinels i'm glad you asked dave it that is the scorpion sentinels stagger bar right so once that is full Obviously, the enemy is staggered, it drops to the floor, and all damage does 160%. Oh, wow. Um, you have specific attacks as well that are more effective at filling up the stagger bar. For instance, Scorpion Sensor is weak against lightning magic. Um, Barrett has a lightning spell. Um, so doing that will increase um, the rate at which you stagger an enemy. And also Cloud has an ability called Focused Thrust, which doesn't do as much damage as his other abilities, but is very effective at filling up the stagger bar. And so when you're fighting a boss like this, it becomes quite a quite a tactical game of trying to fill its stagger bar up, making sure that you have abilities ready that once it is staggered, you can really unload on it. And, and we will see that in a minute. You can see also, um, let me draw your attention to uh, next to Cloud and Barrett's names. To their to the right, you'll see another little bar. It's a yellow one, yeah. and that's gradually filling up. That's the limit gauge. Once that is full, you can use a limit attack, a limit break attack, and it's a good idea to try and coincide bosses being staggered with your limit gauge being full. How do you fill your limit gauge? You fill it, fill your limit gauge by taking damage and also filling the enemy's stagger bar. Right. So both of those things will f will fill your limit gauge. So there are instances where you might choose to take damage from a, from yes. the enemy so that you can fill your limit break at the yes. for the right time. Exactly. Blimey. And you don't have to use your limit ability straight away once it's full okay. so you can sort of save it and store it yeah. for the optimum moment which you will see me doing here look it, the scorpion sensor is on the on the wall at the moment so cloud can't really get at it so we switched to barrett right okay that makes sense go to town and marry by an uncle john he claimed he has a measure but he had a lot of fun oh Get in, find this satellite, and upload the malware to Stargazer's network. Hostile spotted. Enemy down. Heavy resistance inbound on your position. Keep your heads down. They're over here. Damn it, Voodoo, I need someone near that satcom. What the hell was that? go hands on with it again and I actually got to record both builds so for Gamescom there was a brand new fight where you fight against Cell and that one was largely speaking just a fight so you are pitched straight against him at the beginning you start off the fight and you just fight him for you know the entirety of the demo and then we had a chance to go back and play what we played at E3 which shows you more of the open world exploration stuff in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot where you can basically wander around you can fly around the world there are collectibles there are random encounters there are enemies you can fight you can also pick up side quests from some you know noteworthy characters and it then all culminates in a battle against Raditz. So, what I've done today is stitch together both those gameplay segments to give you guys a nice, like, 20-25 minute chunk. You get to see the cell fight first, which is what you're seeing in the background, and what you see in a moment when I stop speaking. And then if you want to see some of the more open world exploration stuff, then of course stick around because you get to see that after this fight. So, if you guys do enjoy this, then a like would be super appreciated. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. And of course, keep it locked for plenty more coverage. <laughs> Ah! <laughs> 